Let's go over to Lafayette, southeastern on the road in Lafayette, to open up their season against the Raging Cajuns of UL. Remember, this time last year, they were just starting a six game road swing to start the year due to Hurricane Ida displacing the team. Similar situations today overcast, gray, and very, very wet. And Cephas Johnson, another new quarterback, his first start under center for the Lions. First quarter, this is kind of how you knew it wasn't Southeastern's day. UL driving on the pass. Ball's going to be popped out. Free ball. Southeastern defender falls on it. It's right there, but it scoots out, and UL recovers. And just a couple of, later, a couple of plays later, they cash in on the good luck. Chandler Fields to Johnny Lumpkin, the 6 7 tight end. How much you can do about that? That makes it 7 0 home team. And yeah, they kind of had that deer in headlights look for much of this game. They make it 10 0 on a field goal in the very next quarter off a Southeastern punt. Eric Garor. Garer, however you pronounce it, I do know how to say 83 yards to the house. Punt return touchdown, and we are heading into the locker room 17 0 home team. So finally, in the third quarter, we come alive a little bit. Carlos Washington with the tough rushing touchdown to put Southeastern on the board. But folks, that is just it. This offense is. A little bit different without Cole Kelly at quarterback. UL with the win, 24 to 7. This Lion offense was not in sync all night. They got their first first down in the last minute of the first quarter. So it was a slow start from the very beginning. Cephas Johnson just 149 yards passing. Lions got to get it back together. They're going to go on the road again. They'll be at Florida Atlantic next weekend. Remember, Florida Atlantic coached by the legendary Willie Taggart.